Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, finding an element with left side smaller and right side greater. So the explanation we are going to provide here is completely based on the assumption that uh, you are having a basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, uh, please watch our website learningmonkey.in and then take the placement training for service based companies course then you have to go come for the competitive coding. So the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, element with left side smaller and right side greater given n elements in an array. So they are going to give you n elements in an array, find the element. So we need to identify an element before which all the elements are smaller and after which all the elements are greater than element. So they have given you note left and right side elements can be equal. So left side, uh, left side elements uh, can be equal to the element. Extreme elements are not considered. We are going to understand this with, with an example that is better way. 5, 1, 4, 3, 6, 8, 10, 7, 9. These are the elements. We need to identify an element for which the left side elements are smaller and the right side elements are greater. So 6 is an element which is having left side elements are smaller than 6 and right side elements are greater than 6. Extreme elements are not considered. 5, 1, 9. We should not consider that extreme elements as our element. And the note uh, says that the left and right side elements can be equal. We can have element 6 on the left hand, left hand side or right hand side. So we can consider that. So this is what the situation, uh, your output should be 6. This is the element 5, 1, 4, 4. This is, there is no possibility for here. In this, in this case, we have to output as minus 1. We have to output uh, minus 1. This is what the question says, uh, but, uh, uh, but you have to maintain in the in the question, in, in the coding you have to maintain the time complexity of big O of n and the space complexity of big O of n. Coming to the solution part, the first way is take each element. The uh, writing the code is very very simple. If you take each element, take the second element, check left hand side is smaller or not, right hand side greater or not. Take the third element, uh, check left hand side is smaller or not and right hand side is bigger or not. If you do this logic, take the second element, check the left and right. Third element, check the left and right. We need a time complexity of big O of n square. Why it is big O of n square? This is the basic understanding. The, the, many of this exam, many of similar examples we have done in our basic uh, placement training for service based companies course so this is basic coding level our uh, our assumption is you already have that uh, understanding uh, coming to the second way we have to maintain a time complexity of big o of n so the second way is uh, it uh, the second way understand the procedure writing the code is very very simple for this uh, 514 See, we have to identify left max and we have to identify right min. Uh, left max means uh, place the 5 as it is, the first number as it is. Uh, take the second element, 1. So, left max means uh, we have to maintain the element that is uh, maximum on the left hand side. For 1, what is on the left hand side? 5. What is the maximum element? 5. For 4, what is there on the left hand side? 1 and 5. What is the maximum element? 5. For 3, what is the left hand side? 5, 1, 4. What is the maximum element? 5. For 6, what is the left hand side? 5, 1, 4, 3. What is the maximum element? 5. For 8, what is on the left hand side? 5, 1, 4, 3, 6. What is the maximum element? 6. This is what left max means. We need to identify this. So, identifying this, we need a single loop. If it execute for the n times, we can identify this. Always keeps on maintaining the maximum element and place it here. Similarly, we have to identify right min. Right min means, see, the right rightmost element, place it as it is. Identify the right side minimum element. 7, what is on the right hand side? 9, what is the minimum element? 9. 10, what is on the right hand side? 7 and 9. What is the minimum element? 7. Similarly, 8. What is on the right hand side? 10, 7, 9. What is the minimum element? 7. 
6. What is on the right hand side? 8, 10, 7, 9. What is the minimum element? 7. Similarly, 3. What is on the right hand side? 6, 8, 10, 7, 9. What is the minimum element? 6. So on. We have to place the left max and right main. Once you identify this, identifying the element is very, very easy. Find element with smaller left max and big right min. We need to identify an element. See, if you take this 6, what is the left max? 5. It should be smaller than this element, smaller or equal to this element. And for this element, the right min, right min should be greater. If it satisfies that condition, this is the element where left side is minimum and right side is maximum. So we want to show you the code, but our suggestion is try to solve it on your own, then check for the solution. So anyhow, the coding is available in our website, learningmonkey.in. So you can download the code and you can execute the code, but best, best practice is uh, try to solve it on your own. This is the code. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.